And we have exclusive video tonight of the chaotic scene that followed the partial collapse of a south side building. The accident injured several people trapped in the rubble of the abandoned structure at 79th and Halstead. Darlene Hill has the story. Robin, police and fire crews were called to the Gresham neighborhood shortly after noon at 7900 South Halstead. Now the city is conducting an investigation into what happened, how bricks started falling off this building, landing on people below. This is what it looks like this evening. That major intersection over on the south side is still shut down. Talked to a lot of courageous people today. A number of pedestrians jumped in to help people trapped underneath the rubble, while others pulled out their cell phones to call police for help and videotape what was happening in the middle of the afternoon. When we looked up and we seen the wall just fail. You saw the wall come down yeah. on you. Yeah, and I ran. We ran down the street and, and a brick and stuff hit the side of my face. With hospital release papers still in hand, Sylvester Hill says he's out of the hospital tonight because he heard falling rocks before part of the building at 79th and Halstead even collapsed. Hill says his friends thought he was just hearing things. I seen my hand thing. I seen something falling. When the bricks started falling, people tried to help. A Fox Chicago viewer took out his cell phone, and this is what he saw. I heard a big boom and a crash, and then uh, dust flying everywhere. There were piles of bricks on the sidewalk still falling. Uh, people were running. Uh, pedestrians were, were running up to the pile to see what happened. And um, uh, a few of them uh, were able to, to, to try to get in there. Passerbys are trying to pull victims out of the rubble. The three-story building has been vacant for years. A Walgreens used to be here. People who live and work in the area say the place should have been torn down a long time ago. Recently, the black wooden awning covering the sidewalk went up. It was set up to protect people while work was being done here. Pedestrians say they saw workers on the roof just earlier this morning. There were people working like on the roof still. They were trying to stabilize the building or something, and so it was just odd to see them start, and then a few days later, whatever happened, who knows? Now here is what we know tonight about that building. It's about 100 years old, and officials say it's been empty for decades, and it is owned by the city. Robin, the guy that shot the video, the Fox viewer that shot that video, said what happened today, he's glad that, of course, more people were not injured, but what happened today has kind of restored his faith in mankind because he says people were just out on the corners at that major intersection at 79th and Hall said not even thinking what could happen while bricks were still falling, they just jumped in to try to help people that had fallen on the sidewalk or had been knocked down by those bricks. Back to you in the studio. Darling, have there been any effort to try to, you know, lease the building out or it was in such bad shape that nobody could really even occupy it? Apparently so, Robin. A couple of African-American business owners in the area said they tried to put in um, their request to purchase the building and then, of course, have that building renovated because that area, if you think back a long time ago, was it was a historic and economic sense of pride over there and they tried to regentrify that area and their permits, they say, were always shot down by the city. So now, of course, city crews are still on the scene tonight trying to clean up that mess.